What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're here in the A10C Warthog and we got an SA6 site up ahead that we need to knock out and then that's going to open the door for us to push a little bit forward. There's a SA11 site up there, there's some F16s that should show up and hit that because uh, it's going to be very very difficult for an A10 to deal with uh, an SA11 site. And uh, if there's any other fighters, there's some F15 cover. Hopefully we won't have to deal with any of that stuff. Um, right there on the TGP, I think I have found the SA-6 site. Yep, that's definitely an SA-6 right there. And look at that, the missiles are turning towards me. And you see that little dish? That would be the search radar. And it sounds like we might have a missile out on us. So let's go ahead and defend and see how we're going to do this. We'll just defend away from the site for a second here, and we'll come back around. Nice pull. Uh, I'm probably have, gonna have to come in low altitude at that SA6 if I don't want to be up here notching all day. We'll come in low altitude and hit him with some Mavericks. Suppress with Mavericks. I'm sure he's got some short range uh, air to air cover over there, whether that's uh, short range IR or AAA or something. Uh, so we'll have to deal with that once we get a little bit closer. But I think we'll come in low. And if we can get close enough to the SA6, we can actually min range it. Uh, hence why he has the short range stuff to help him out if we do that. There's the uh, radar again. Alright, we got another missile in the air. Go ahead and pull up the Maverick. Uh, yeah, there's a missile coming. We can probably drive this one into the ground by reducing our altitude here, and it should hit the tree line here, theoretically. Alright, looks like we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn back in. Again, we're gonna stay super low altitude, and the idea again is to get close enough to him to the SA-6 site specifically to min-range that thing uh, and deal with the short-range IR, anti-air, whatever is there. Uh, let's see if the Maverick Seeker can even see anything. We're still pretty far away, so I don't think so. Just give it a second. We gotta get a little closer here. And as we get closer, the uh, SA-6 search radar will see me again, so I'll have to deal with that. But you see the uh, A-10 as amazing as a platform as it is, there's the SA-11 looking over here as well. Uh, it really does struggle in environments where, you know, air superiority has not been established. And there are active SAM sites like SA-11s and SA-6s, the more advanced stuff, you know. Um, Short-range IR, not a problem for A-10s, really. They, sh they should be able to deal with that. Although there's some that are a little more challenging, like SA-15s and things like that. And as you can see, we can't really push to the east at all, kind of like a northeast direction, because that's where the SA-11 is, so that kind of restricts our movement a little bit. Uh, we're going to have to stay to the south and the west to deal with this, this uh, SA-6, who is actually tracking me again. The search radar is actively looking for me. Uh, and he's actually got a lock here. I'm going to bring my head up. I think we might have min-ranged it by now. I'm going to take a bet. Because <laughs> we're pretty close. Maybe not. I don't know. But let's quickly get off some Mavericks here. No, he's tracking me again. He's going to try to shoot at me here. Rifle. Rifle. And I don't even know what I'm shooting at. I just want to get some out. Rifle. 
rifle. There we go. Got it. Okay. And let's push in real close. I just wanted to throw some Mavericks at him. And start hitting some stuff over there. Kind of suppress him. Oh, look at this. Triple A. Whoa. No. Okay, we'll suppress that with gun. Looks like a Shoka. We'll hit that. Good rounds into that smoke where I thought he was. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he's dead. Yes. One dead Shoka. Whether guns or Maverick, doesn't matter, but he's dead. I'm not getting shot at by anything else. No short range IR here. They just had that Shilka AAA. And I don't see any more, so I think we're actually good. This SA-6 is still active. Uh, but he is being min-ranged right now, so I can't get too far. I'm going to select the rockets. I got a lot of rockets. We're just going to absolutely pound these guys with rockets. <laughs> it's going to be like the worst artillery strike they've ever had. It's going to feel like that anyway. Here we go. Get this on target. Look at that SA-6 sight, all up over there. Pull up, pull up. Those rockets right onto that search radar. Good hits. You'd hate to be down there right now. Absolute devastation. Now the SA-6, uh, if you destroy the search radar, you could knock out the actual sight. The SA-11 is a little bit more dangerous because the launchers, the TELs, can operate independent of the search radar. The search radar helps greatly improve their targeting, their range, uh, you know, response time, all that stuff. Um, but the TELs themselves, the launchers themselves, are capable of functioning without the radar. So you got to kill everything when it comes to the SA-11. Uh, but the SA-6 here, if I can just knock out the search radar, uh, we should be good. I'm going to come around for another rocket run. And we're going to hit the other side of the base this time. Pull up, pull up. Uh, actually, look at this. The uh, search radar is still up for the SA-6. Listen, man, if you like to ground pound, there's nothing better than an A-10 to do that. Nothing better. This thing is so much fun. The fact that it's slow is actually kind of... Uh, entertaining when it comes to ground pounding. Like, the fact that you're so slow gives you so much more time on target to just dismantle the enemy's defenses and armor and all that stuff. Lets you really bask in the glory of the destruction that you're <laughs> outputting. <laughs> Which is a tremendous amount, by the way. Absolutely crazy. The amount of destruction the A-10 is, you know, putting out. Alright, we'll do a rocket run here. Finish off these rockets. And then we'll switch the gun, and I'm just going to gun the uh, search pull radar. Up, up. There we go. Search radar's dead. Altitude, altitude. And launcher's dead. And we're flying right over top. There's nothing left alive down there. That's everything. We can probably start pushing towards the SA-11 site now. Alright, I've pushed up to the SA-11 site. You see those X's off in the distance there. Those are friendly forces pushing up. Uh, that SA-11 is actively engaging me. And also, those F-16s should be arriving soon or are already here. I don't know where they are, though. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, that SA-11 is really shooting uh, some missiles over here. I think he's actually engaging the... You can see I'm just slightly out of range. Uh, he's probably engaging the F-16s as well because he's shooting off a whole lot of missiles from over there. 
and I would imagine the F-16s are also shooting harms at him, so once they suppress that site we can push in a little bit closer and try to clean it up before the friendly forces get there. Got another missile in the air. I'm gonna go ahead and defend low and cold. Because I'd hate to get smoked by an SA-11 here. And I think the friendly forces would be very upset if their only real air support was to get shot down by that SA-11 right now. Because those F-16s, they're not gonna be doing a whole lot. They're just gonna take out that SA-11 and they're gonna get out of here. All right, let's start creeping in a little bit. Okay, SA-11 has been hit by a bunch of harms. Uh, it's suppressed, might be reloading, might have turned on its uh, turned off its radar uh, in an attempt to not get hit by more harms. Um, but I got luck on some stuff here, so I'm just gonna start shooting Mavericks. There's one away. Uh, last one here, three away and that SA-11 site is completely suppressed now. Let's go ahead and clean up with a gun. We can see that SA-11 launcher I'm watching right now. It's right there. Let's see if those Mavericks start to fall in. I'm holding a little bit of separation between me and that site because I don't know what kind of short-range IR is there. But I think we're just going to take the risk and I'm going to come in for a gun run because that SA-11 site has to die. You can see those Mavericks actually impacting. Some good hits down there. And we're just going to start suppressing with 30 millimeter gun here. That's the search radar. There we go. Good hits all across there. That radar survived. We'll hit that again. There we go. That's gone. All right, oh, we got some tracer fire here. We got nicked. Uh, a little bit of target fixation on my part. We got hit by a couple rounds there. So we're gonna flare and get out of here and uh, pull away. Yeah, that's my bad. I should have pulled off a little bit sooner. <laughs> All right, so we're off into the vertical here. No short range IRs. There's a bunch of, oh, there's one right there. Nice, look at that. That missed, flares out. Although we got like a tank site down there, which is who shot me with the tracers. Another missile here, tracking, going for flares, we're good. one of those like short range strillas or osas or something like that down there got another missile in the air here it looks from the same location so we're gonna go ahead and come in on that site and kill him and hopefully there's no more shore ads down there the sa-11 site is most definitely suppressed both by me and the f-16s We just got to clean up this little base here, try to soften the workload a little bit for the friendly forces. <laughs> that whole tank just exploded there. And that SA whatever site is gone. That short range SAM is now dead. And we're going to pull away here. Oh, we got some tracer fire from that tank again.
All right, gun run on that BTR. Missed, sorry. That was very close to somebody's house. <laughs> BTR is dead, and tank right here, hit him with some 30 mil, and we're gonna peel off. That tank took some serious hits there. That was pretty good. Alright, uh, we got a cluster CBU-97 drop here. Uh, CCIP, so I'm gonna come almost like a, like a dive bomb. Pickle? And we're off. And that CBU-97 looked uh, kind of like it was a little bit off target, not gonna lie. Uh, I hope it hits that position because there's a, a lot of soft targets there for that CBU-97. But... Um, that thing looked like it might have been slightly off target, maybe because of the wind. And... Oh, no, it's good. Nice, yeah, all those drops were pretty good. I was all in the field there. I'm happy with that. All in the field, perfect. All hitting the... Oh, whoa, oh, oh. Some of those are hitting... Oh, that's not where I want those to hit. <laughs> That was inside the residential area. And that's why CBU-97s, or cluster munitions as a whole, are kind of a risky munition to use like that. Uh, they're very uncontrollable, uh, and some, you know, obviously some duds, some stuff that doesn't explode that's going to be left there. Uh, let's do a quick gun run on this T-80 here. Just absolutely dump my 30 mil into him. He's still alive. That's so annoying. <laughs> He's smoking though, he felt that one. Definitely rung his bell. <laughs> Let's just make sure that T-80 is destroyed and everything else down there, the friendly units can clean up. That's going to be it for me. We've been working out here for quite some time. Um, I've got this guy. I'm going to drop a JDAM on him. He's got him uh, set as an SPI, a uh, sensor point of interest. And now we just wait for that JDAM to hit him right in the head. And hopefully that lands on... Yeah, there it is. <laughs> well, I hit him right in the head. <laughs> Alright. Shack 1 T80.